Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Linux Mint on your VirtualBox. So for those of you who don't know what is VirtualBox, VirtualBox is a tool which will allow you to install different operating system virtually on your host machine so that you can uh, use those operating system on your host machine. So the installation of VirtualBox is really easy. Just go to your favorite browser and search for VirtualBox and the first link which will appear here will be from virtualbox.org. So just click on this link and once this uh, website is open, just click on the downloads button and then click on Windows host, which is going to download the executable file for the VirtualBox and you just need to run this file and just click some next button installation is really easy so i'm not going to show you how you can install virtualbox so once you have started virtualbox you can see it will look like this the next thing you need to have is the linux mint iso file so to download the linux mint iso file you just need to search for linux mint and the first link which will appear here will be from linuxmint.com so i'm going to just click on this option and then uh, you can uh, choose which uh, flavor of Linux Mint you want to have. So you can uh, just uh, feel the look and feel of all the uh, Linux Mint uh, options here. Uh, the most popular is the Cinnamon Edition. You have the Mate or XFCE and other versions also. In order to download uh, the Linux Mint ISO file, you can just click on uh, download here and then click on Linux Mint. At the time of making this video, 19.3 is the latest version. So I'm going to just click on this. And then now when I just scroll down, I can choose from different flavors of Linux Mint as I mentioned. So the most popular one is as I said cinnamon so just choose this one and click on the 64 bit option and from here you can choose the link to the nearest uh, mirror from your location so let's say my uh, from my location this is the nearest mirror uh, link so I'm going to just click on this link and now the download of this ISO file will start so this is around 1.9 GB file so it will take some time to download i have already downloaded this file so i will just cancel this and let me show you how this file looks like let me uh, just minimize the browser also so this is uh, going to look like this the iso file name is linux mint and then the version which is 19.3 at the time of making this video hyphen cinnamon which is the flavor which we have installed and then hyphen 64 bit right and the extension is iso file so once you have downloaded this ISO file, we are ready to create the virtual machine. So just open your VirtualBox manager and then click on the new button here and then just give the name to your Linux uh, Mint virtual machine. I'm going to just give the same name, which is Linux Mint here. The type is uh, Linux here. You can uh, choose this type from uh, this uh, drop down menu and the version is uh, Linux Mint, but this version is not available in this list so the closest one is ubuntu 64 bit so i'm going to choose ubuntu 64 bit from here and the machine folder also you can uh, choose the location by default this will uh, be saved in your c directory but if you uh, want to change the destination here uh, you can uh, just choose other and then choose the location where you want to uh, just save this uh, Linux Mint virtual machine. So I have chosen this location manually and then click on next. And then on this next window, you can choose the memory size. So I just like to drag this drag bar up to the end of the green level. This depends upon the memory in your host machine. And now I'm going to just click on next. And on the next window, just leave everything as default and then click on create and on the hard disk file type just leave everything as default the default one is vdi or virtual disk image and then click on next on the storage on physical hard drive window just choose dynamically allocated if you want to read more about the difference between dynamically allocated and fixed size you can read this difference here just uh, choose this option and then click on next and on the next window you will see the file location and the size so just uh, leave uh, this file location as default or if you want to change it, you can change it from here. 
and the hard disk size so let's say i just want to allocate around 100 gb to my linux mint machine and then i'm going to click on create which is going to create this linux mint virtual machine on my virtual box now before starting uh, this virtual machine you need to do some more settings so just select linux mint and then click on settings here and then go to general and then in the general go to advanced and then just choose bi-directional for the shared clipboard and drag and drop options okay this will allow you to drag and drop files from your host machine to your virtual machine and also you can copy and paste text in both directions now just select system and in the processors by default VirtualBox allocate one processor to your virtual machine. You can move it to uh, use more processors. I generally move it to the uh, end of the green level, which is four in my case. And then I'm going to go to the storage section here. Now here, you just need to click on the empty uh, disk icon here, and then just click on the empty disk icon here, and then click on choose disk file and from here you need to navigate to the iso file wherever you have saved your linux mint iso file just navigate to that location and then select that iso file from uh, your folder explorer and then, then click on open and once you do that you will be able to see this iso file here and once you do this you can click on ok now the other settings you can change anytime so i'm going to just click on ok for now and now we are ready to start the installation of Linux Mint. So just select Linux Mint and then click on start. And if you see select startup disk from here, you can choose the Linux Mint ISO file from here once again, and then click on the start button. So now you have uh, several options here and you can see automatic boot in four seconds. So just leave everything as default and just wait for some seconds and you will see the next window. So you don't need to do anything on the first window. Just wait until you see uh, this kind of Linux Mint icon. And after some time, you will see uh, this kind of Linux Mint desktop. So we want to uh, install Linux Mint permanently. So we, we are going to choose this option, which says install Linux Mint. So just click on this icon, which is going to start the installation of Linux Mint. So on this first window, you can choose the language in which you want to install Linux Mint. I will leave it as English and then click on continue. And then on the next uh, window, I can choose the keyboard layout. So in different countries or in different regions, uh, you have different keyboard layouts. So in my case, I am using the German keyboard layout. So I will just uh, choose the German keyboard layout from here. You can choose the keyboard according to your uh, 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 region and your country. Okay, so German keyboard and then click on continue. Now on the next window, I have this option which says preparing to install Linux Mint and uh, this option is available here so i will check this option which says install third party software for graphics and wi-fi hardware flash mp3 and other media and then click on continue now on the next window i have the installation type so here you need to choose erase disk and install linux mint so it's not going to erase anything from your host virtual machine it's just an option uh, at the time of installation so you can choose this and don't worry about uh, erasing anything from your host machine you just uh, need to choose this option and then click on install now now after clicking on install now you will see this window which says if you continue the changes listed below will be written to disk i will say continue and now you can choose the region so just choose the region which is uh, most appropriate for uh, your region i will leave it as default and then click on continue and now here on the next window you can choose the computer name and other uh, uh, credentials for your linux mint machine so here i'm going to just uh, give uh, code bind as my uh, uh, computer name here and also 
my uh, name also i will just give code bind and then in the password i will just choose a simple password but if you want to use linux mint for a long time then you might want to use a strict password here and now click on continue and you can see uh, the installation will start so at this point you just need to wait for the installation to complete so i will wait for uh, this installation to be completed now after some time you will see this window it says installation has finished so at this point you just need to click on the restart now button okay so i'm going to just click on restart now which is going to restart my virtual uh, machine now here it says please remove the installation media and then press enter so just press enter at this point and after some time you will see this uh, login window here so you can uh, just log in with your credentials which you have given at the time of installation and then press enter which will enable you to log in to your linux mint operating system and now i can see the linux mint desktop so i'm going to just uh, cancel this and i can also just close this uh, welcome window now here i will try to expand uh, this uh, linux mint desktop according to the size of uh, my uh, windows uh, uh, desktop screen and you can see straight away uh, this desktop doesn't resize according to the size of my uh, host desktop size so to solve this problem you need to install virtualbox guest additions on your linux mint so for that what you need to do is just go to devices here and then click on insert guest additions cd image so just click on this option and once you click on this option, you will see uh, this kind of pop-up window. So just click on run here. And then give your Linux Mint's password, which you have given at the time of installation. And then click on authenticate, which is going to start the installation of VirtualBox guest editions on your uh, virtual machine, which is Linux Mint in my case. So just uh, let it run until it finishes and now after some time you will see uh, this uh, prompt at the end which says press return to close this window so just press enter at this point and this uh, terminal will be uh, closed now at this point you just need to shut down your linux mint operating system manually so just click on this menu here and then click on this power button and then click on shut down so your linux mint virtual machine will shut down you can uh, just once again restart your linux mint by just clicking on the start button and now when you resize your uh, linux mint it's going to resize according to your host machine window and now you can start working with the linux mint so this is how you can install linux mint on your virtual box i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in 